Previously on Sailing Doodle, we had dinner with the chiefs of a small village and tried to help them fix their generator. In this video, the girls go diving in the wreck of the SS Coolidge. Follow along on our journeys, we sail 15,000 miles from Canada all the way to Thailand, and we can't do this without the support of our patrons. We left the tiny island of Uripiv and headed north to Loganville, which is the second largest city in Vanuatu. Unfortunately, there just wasn't much wind. Only two and a half knots of wind today, so we're motoring and we're just pulling the, the dinghy behind us. It's super calm out here. Luganville doesn't have a very well protected anchorage, but it's the last stop for provisioning before heading to either the Solomon Islands or Papua New Guinea. Got some kind of public notice. La music, I loud, too much. Group Don't belong. Be a drunk man. No drunk man. Um, no s steal. Don't steal. I know something about you trespass, you pass along in the court. We found another in my sign in English that says uh, cruisers take advantage of our stuff. Nothing about being drunk or music or stealing? No, it says contact the guide and the town map. There you go. It's a nice little resort. It's the waterfront beach resort here in Luganville, Vanuatu. Really pretty. I don't see anybody here. These, these little bungalows look really nice. I don't know how much they are, but... We planned to walk into town, but pretty much right away, someone stopped to give us a ride. Hello. Hello, brother. Nice to meet you all. Nice to meet you. How are you? What's your name? I'm Bobby. Bobby, nice to meet you, brother. I'm George. George, nice to yeah. meet you. Where are you guys from? United States. Oh, U.S. And, and Mexico. To be honest, George wasn't exactly picking us up out of the kindness of his own heart. He was a tour guide and wanted to give us a tour. We actually ended up using him later in the week. This was a little restaurant row with all sorts of authentic local restaurants. So she brought us uh, homemade lemon juice. Um, hopefully. It's great. Yeah. Montezuma's Revenge. That's and then what's you. <laughs> the food was quite tasty and the portions were big enough to share. That's the cheapest meal we've had like in months. So it was a uh, 350 Vanuatu per plate, which is about $3.50 US. Boom, score. After lunch, we headed to the local market. One of our patrons, Lawrence, recommended some ginger root to help Lisa with her seasickness. So the girls are going diving again this morning without me. Jerks. I still need my eye a little more time to heal. I think it's pretty much done healing. Vision's not back to normal, but I think I'll need glasses now. Well, 
Well, apparently the girls have cut their dive short, didn't go dive at all. They didn't trust their tanks and they're coming back. So that's pretty bad when you can't trust the tanks that you're diving with. So we're gonna try to reschedule them to get a different group tonight or this afternoon maybe. So what was wrong with the tanks? They were filled to 4,500. Mm -hmm. That's a little much. So I was like, were you not paying attention when you fill them up? Is there no alarm? Um, why? And then I was just started thinking about the compressor. Yeah. And I'm like, oh, so this says negligence, da 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 on their thing. And I'm like, no, you're negligent right now. <laughs> yeah. da, 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 da. I was like, I can't. I was like, I'm sorry. I was well, like, 4,500 is way over limit. I mean, I've had a tank that's had 3,500 before, but. They were so awesome though. Yeah, we, tip, we gave them a little tip. So. Bye guys! Pretty much right away we found another dive shop that could handle the girls that afternoon. Alright guys, y'all have fun. This looks legit, huh? <laughs> we were really happy to find Pacific Dive and they had excellent facilities. This would actually be our first shore dive. First it was a briefing, and then time to get in the water. Pretty much right away there was a drop off and a line to help us get to the wreck. These are some of the items left from the wreck from over 70 years ago. This is even a rifle. We enter the wreck around 86 feet. There was all kinds of trucks, tanks, and equipment left over in the hole. There was even a lot of ammunition. For safety, there were several air tanks left along the way. Many divers have died in this wreck. It's important to have experience and a good guide. It would be really easy to be lost in this wreck. This was my bucket list dive and I waited all trip to see the lady. This dive alone is worth the trip to Vanuatu. Thank you for watching another episode of Sailing Doodles. Please go ahead and click that like button and subscribe.